Hi everybody, Stefan Molyneux from Free Domain Radio. Happy April the 14th, tax day minus one. Tomorrow, you must carve out the gizzards of your financial essence and mail or e-file them with the government who will use it for various nefarious things. Mostly, the government will use the money that it gets from you in taxes to auction off your unborn to foreign banksters. See, that's what they do. You give them money. It's not used to buy you anything anymore. The income tax in particular is almost entirely used to pay the interest on the national debt. Not the debt itself, just the interest. And basically, you are giving them money not to supply you with goods and services, but to use that money to pay off foreigners and domestic financial interests, all of whom, of course, we love to support from a charitable standpoint, none of whom provide us any services whatsoever other than taking our tax money and funneling it back to politicians in the form of campaign contributions to make sure that those politicians continue to give them massive, giant, Hindenburg blimp-style tarp bailouts. Isn't it tasty? Now, there is a lot to complain about with the system, but I will invite you in this little chat to stop complaining. I think it would be lovely if we were able to stop complaining about the system. Do you know why? Because there is no system. I am here to give you a very liberating secret with a few choice adjectives. Now, there is no system. The reason why your tax bill is so enormous and why every working American, for instance, is $1.4 million in debt for unfunded government liabilities, the reason why the place I live, Ontario, Canada, has five times the per capita debt of California. Five times the sunshine. I could live with that. I'd be irradiated but I'd go out with a smile on my face, especially after this last godforsaken witch's tit frozen ass winter. But to be five times California's indebtedness is not really where you want to be. I take the taxes very seriously. I have a daughter and currently she is being auctioned off. Currently my money is being used as collateral to sell off her future to the tune of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's one thing to disagree with the money and how it's being spent on me, but that's not even what happens with taxes. What happens is I am being forced to give money to sociopaths so that they can use it as collateral to borrow on my daughter's future. There are no fucking services coming to me. When I had a health care crisis last year, ooh, Canadian health care, misdiagnosed, undiagnosed, counterdiagnosed, ignored, told to wait for a year. And I finally took my money and fled to Oklahoma, where I got treated perfectly well. You can barely even see the scar. That's what I love getting money extracted from me for. For a public school, I would not send the hell spawn of Satan to, and for a healthcare system that almost killed me. Yay! But there is no system. The only system is that you idiots continue to believe the lies of politicians. People up in arms about Obamacare. Ooh, my premiums are going up. Of course they're going up. Obama comes along this <laughs> greasy, snaky sociopath comes along and says, oh, I'll be reducing your premiums by $2,400. Really? Will you? How are you going to do that exactly? Are you magic? Can you suspend arithmetic? Are you going to be repealing all the regulations that make healthcare so expensive? No! Whenever you see politicians, what you see is bullshit, magic, excellence. If you believe the bullshit and the magic, you'll believe in the excellence, but you won't ever get it. By the year 2024, America will have spent $2 trillion on Obamacare to solve the problem of 30 million uninsured by 2024. There will, by the government numbers, be 31 
million people uninsured. There are probably more people uninsured now than there were before Obamacare came in. Oh, I have to pay this money. Oh, I don't get to choose my doctor. Oh, I didn't get to keep my plan. Of course you didn't. They're politicians. They lie. They lie. They lie. Will you understand that? They will lie to you about everything. He's an academic. He's never had a real job. He stayed in school. He's been a community organizer, which has something to do with stacking Lego pieces. I don't even know. How is he going to reform one-sixth of the entire U.S. economy? How does he know he can give you $2,400 back and still have you have the same service? Are people just mysteriously overcharging? Does nobody want to come in and undercut them? He won't tell you. And that you believe this bullshit is astounding. That's the system. It's your belief in the bullshit that you are fed. That's the only system that there is. And I'm sick of it. Because when you believe stupid shit, and it's just you that gets affected, hey, I have sympathy. I'll try and talk you out of it. But when you bring an entire sort of Damocles shitstorm down on the next generation, including my child and my life, I'm sick of it. Stop believing these people. Take a break from sending your spleen, your sperm, your blood type, and your DNA to Nigerian email scammers long enough to recognize that everything coming out of your television set is bullshit. One exception. If this show has been played on your television set, it's not bullshit. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking is stop believing the bullshit that people tell you to buy your vote and screw you over. Stop showing up at rallies. Stop giving these people money. My God, it's like a live Stockholm Syndrome. Let me send money to the people who lie to me and get me in wars and enslave my children and throw my friends in jail for having the wrong pieces of salad in their pocket and cheer them at a rally. Yay! Kleiter electric fences. I love it. Ah, that's the only system there is, is you believing the lies you're being told. If Obama, and not him in particular, and they're all the same, if Obama was able to offer you significantly cheaper health insurance, do you know what he would do? He would start a health insurance company, he would undercut everyone, and he wouldn't need a gun. See, that's kind of a clue. How do you know it's rape and not lovemaking? The knife to the throat is kind of a clue. Do you, you, you see where I'm going here? If you have really good ideas, one thing you don't need is a fucking gun. See how that works? An iPad is a kind of a cool thing. They don't need to threaten you with fines to get you to buy one, do they? <sighs> the moment the government says, we're going to force you to do something, you know it's a bad idea. Somebody invites you on a date with chloroform, an old sofa, and a windowless van. It's not a date. It's a John Fowles novel. So the fact that Obamacare, or the welfare state, or the military industrial complex, or the prison industrial complex, or public school, or roads, or you name it. The fact that it has to be imposed at gunpoint is a clue that it's shit. We're not asking you to become philosophers. Just recognize when there's a gun to your face, there's not a very advantageous human being on the other end. Nobody's asking you to be a philosophical genius to learn ancient Aramaic and commune with the netherworld spirits of yesteryear. Just stop believing politicians. That's all we're asking you to do. Stop sending them money. Stop telling your children that it's any, the flag is anything other than a fist in a cloth being jammed down their throats. Stop believing in the body historical chalk outline of murder known as a country. Stop believing the liars with weapons. Think, do you think your government wants to protect you from foreigners in America? Uh. 
The American government is the number one arms dealer in the world. They're selling weapons everywhere they can. They'd put them in Happy Meals if they could. If you have some agency that's supposed to protect your property, you find it's arming criminals, how do you feel? Well, that's what you've got. So on this tax day, recognize that the tax you pay is the bill for staying stupid and not thinking and not learning from history. That money you're paying is like a sociopath, sociopath gullibility tax that is wrapped around and chasing that last brain cell rolling around your empty Arizona crater vacuum of a skull. You're being taxed because you're stupidly believing the lies of abusers, because you're like some woman who keeps getting beat up by her husband. And then he says, well, maybe I'll buy you a rose someday. And you're like, ooh, that's great. I'm back. Here are my tits. Fuck. You deserve what you get. You deserve higher taxes than you get. You deserve more NSA. You deserve more snooping. You deserve more people with weapons and tanks rolling through your streets because it's going to keep happening and it's going to keep getting worse until you wake up. I'm saying this to you as an intervention. I love you all, but you really, really need to hear this. My daughter, your children, your grandchildren really need to hear this. The only bill that you have to pay is believing the lies of liars. You can't stop paying your taxes, because they got all the guns, remember? But you can stop believing the lies. What if they threw a government and nobody came? When you sign that check, think about it. You're signing in blood because you refuse to learn the obvious lessons that people with guns who lie to you do not have your best interests at heart. Learn that, and taxes will be a thing of the past. Thank you.